Well, I've introduced Geshe Lat to you twice, so I'm not sure what I can add, but I see a couple of new faces, so maybe a couple of new facts. Um, Geshe Lat studied for eight years at the Institute for Buddhist Dialectics uh, in India, uh, which, as you may know, was founded by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Uh, there from 1973 to 1981, uh, he got what is roughly the equivalent of an undergraduate degree and two master's degrees, using that terminology. The two master's degrees were in Prajna Paramita, or perfection of wisdom, and Madhyamika, or the middle way. Um, for 16 years, he taught at the Tibetan Children's Village, which we discussed briefly the last couple of times, where he was a teacher and then principal and then director of that school. Some of his students, former students, are here tonight. Um, in 1995, uh, Geshe La earned his Geshe degree. Um, to describe that degree is difficult, except it's worth saying that once when His Holiness was asked, what was your greatest moment of happiness? What was your own greatest personal achievement? He paused and said, I think it was attaining my Geshe degree. So that gives you some flavor uh, of what it's like. Um, Geshe La then served two years as principal of the Tibetan Teachers Training Center, where he taught teachers of Buddhist scholarship how to be teachers. Um, he then became the principal of the college for higher Tibetan studies. Um, and these days he teaches not only in America, but in Sweden and England and Switzerland and Belgium and Germany and Finland and Estonia and Israel and almost every place uh, you can think of. Um, tomorrow we're going with him to Boston uh, where he'll be giving a talk at Wellesley uh, and he'll be interviewed by a Tibetan scholar from Harvard, and then we'll come back, and we will be back here for parts four, five, and six of this series uh, on the Guide to the Bodhisattva's Way of Life next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So tonight is part three. Part four um, will be next Tuesday. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention how much of his life uh, Geshe Pema Dorje devotes to his humanitarian projects. We've already discussed many of them at length, so I'll spare you the details of the orphanages and the schools and the medical care that uh, he is involved with on a daily basis, except to say for any of you who are interested in donating to that, please see uh, my wife Carol, who's seated in the front row, or me at any break or at the end, or for those of you who are watching streaming, just simply go to BuddhistCharity.org. Geshe La, Thank as we you. say in America, the floor is yours. <laughs> okay. I'm not I think sure I'm, what yeah. that means. Yeah, okay. <laughs> floor is mine. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you for coming. And uh, so, uh, I do my prayers, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> あ、ニュージャージャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャーゼロジャ
So, a little bit of motivation. <clears throat> when I was coming from home, uh, and uh, the, here roads are very good, and I was fall asleep in the car. Still, I'm not so awake. Uh, so, <laughs> I started having some good motivation when I left home. When I sit in the car, then I was fall asleep, you see. So now I have to uh, explain about the motivation. So our motivation uh, has to be, um, uh, like say, uh, uh, try not to harm anybody, and if possible, and try to help others as much as possible. Okay? Uh, for that, we need to know uh, uh, Impossible, all the details, okay. Try not to harm anybody, okay, directly or indirectly. Why? And what is harm? And, and if possible, okay, on top of this, if possible, try to help as many as possible. And why? And how? So to, uh, to have a, a detail, okay, then we are just trying to give some teachings, and or you might have listened many teachings from other spirit, great spiritual teachers. And uh, so the motivation has to be like, I really like to be a good human being. Uh, and uh, for that, at least I have to do is that I should not harm anybody uh, directly or indirectly, okay, intentionally or unintentionally. And then on top of this, okay, on top of this, and then uh, try to help, okay, as much as possible. Whatever, okay, uh, it's not necessarily to, to, to give something, uh, so just try. And then, uh, then uh, having this motivation, and uh, then you need to go a little bit more detail. And uh, what is the meaning of try not to harm anybody, okay? And try to help others as much as possible. Then this is like a whole Buddha's teaching in, in condensed in this short uh, version. And therefore, uh, motivation has to be uh, this. And especially uh, uh, what we are teaching these days is uh, uh, Shantideva's uh, Guide to the Bodhisattva's Way, uh, which is this text. Okay? This teaching is the pillar of uh, uh, Mahayana tradition, especially uh, Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, so this is a very, very big, okay, and also very detailed. Uh, the, the, the 
unfortunate thing is that I'm not that good, you see. Therefore, uh, I, I feel a bit sorry. Uh, but still, we have to try. Because uh, uh, if I say I don't want to teach, uh, and then someone says I don't want to teach, then even uh, that will be not so, uh, so good. Uh, therefore, we have to try. Mm, and uh, so uh, this uh, mm, uh, guide to the Bodhisattva's way is the main teaching is, uh, of course, you know, six perfections, you see. And, uh, and today we, are, uh, we will be talking about the uh, uh, perfection of uh, tolerance or perfection of uh, patience, okay? And uh, uh, perfection of, uh, I, I think, yeah, this is, I think. So now, and I'm taking a small, small part of the, uh, from the text, okay? I'm not going all the details. And I'm taking a little bit from, uh, and then try to, uh, I'm trying to get you, uh, if, if this is the perfection of uh, patience, then I'm trying to uh, teach you, uh, have an understanding of uh, the perfection of patience, okay? And then you have to read the book in detail, how to practice and what has to be removed and what has to be uh, practiced, that you have to do. I'm just informing, okay, in short, because we have only uh, two hours, and uh, within two hours today, we have to cover two chapters. And then, especially the sixth chapter, with the tolerance, it's a really huge, okay, it's a huge. And uh, uh, I have been uh, studying, and also I've been practicing this, because uh, as I told you, uh, I was very short time, but I, very angry man. And to remove, uh, try to minimize this anger, I have been reading this a lot. And therefore, it's a huge text. Just like six sessions or eight sessions, uh, just simply teaching tolerance, maybe not enough, you see. Uh, but we have to run. Mm. So... <clears throat> Uh, sometimes, like uh, when you say tolerance, okay, uh, uh, there's a little bit of misunderstanding. Tolerance, uh, mis how the misunderstanding uh, is uh, taking place is that uh, people start to think that tolerance means whatever others do, you have to tolerate. Okay, this is not the case. Okay, this is not the case. And uh, uh, as in the first. Uh, uh, at the beginning, he says that uh, why we need to develop our tolerance uh, because uh, one of the destructive emotion, which we say is anger or hatred, and this is very dangerous. And uh, by having this anger to any type of sentient being, and especially those uh, those beings who are aiming to achieve. Uh, uh, benefit for all sentient beings, if we get angry with that person uh, or hate that person, and then this can destroy uh, eons of merits. And uh, therefore, uh, to, to, to reduce or uh, to be free from anger is very important because one very strong anger can destroy eons of merits. Uh, for that, uh, the tolerance here means, okay, here means uh, try to, uh, uh, as we talked, okay, anger, it arises, okay, uh, but then, of course, uh, suppressing anger also is not, uh, I, I don't think it's healthy, but then in Buddhism, we don't say that you have to, you have to suppress anger. We always say that uh, take little rest or relax or breathe in and out and then try to think and analyze, okay? Analyze and then slowly, slowly you will see uh, what the anger does in us. You will see very clearly. And then by seeing this nicely and uh, then you feel that this is such a doubtful uh, sub-mind. And then you started getting a 
uh, feeling that I really wanted, I really wanted to say goodbye to this. Okay, we are not suppressing, but by analyzing uh, the 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 dreadful face of the anger and the beautiful face of the tolerance, and then we started seeing that I really wanted to develop tolerance, and I really removed this hatred or anger because it is so harmful and it destroys a lot. Therefore, I really don't want to be a friend of this, okay? By analyzing, okay, studying, thinking, and uh, just not like, oh, I really want to tolerate, not like this, just thinking in a very wise way, okay, if possible, just think, okay? And uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, therefore, I, I'm going to uh, take some of the text a little bit, and, and then, we explain, yeah. <clears throat> and then I have to try to uh, try to teach, uh, not only like uh, giving a lecture. I have to teach uh, so that uh, it will be a little bit of a guidance uh, to reduce your anger. The aim is not just talking. Okay, just. Whatever I know, I throw, okay, every, every, to everywhere, okay? And this is not the way. So I just have to think that, uh, okay, if I talk this, uh, will they be able to understand? Will, will they be able to practice, okay? And then if you really practice, and then your anger will really go down. Just having intellectual understanding will not help. So teaching and lecture, I, I differentiate in this way, but I don't know whether I'm right or wrong. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, he, he, he explains that uh, uh, most of the destructive emotions are really, really terrible, okay? And now these days we, all, we talk quite a lot about the terrorist, you see? And this is a terrible, okay? And, and then they are doing those things because of the destructive emotion, okay? And, uh, and then as soon as the destructive emotion arises, okay, then this can lead us uh, in this life very difficult and also in the next life and next life it can destroy many, 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 many rebirths, you see? Therefore, there's no worse animal, enemy than uh, anger, okay. This is the most dreadful uh, enemy. And then also, the, like a, a human being who, who we call them as enemy, if we just try to establish friendship with them, try very hard, one day they may become a good friend and they may also possible to help. But if we try to establish friendship with anger, <laughs> it will never change. It will never, it will, more it will destroy, okay? More we establish friendship with them, the more it will destroy us. It will eat us, okay? It will take us to the, the most terrible sort of suffering. The difference, okay? If it's a sentient being or human being, even that person quite difficult, uh, uh, did something terrible things, but if we just try to tolerate and try to establish nice friendship and this, so on, then one day that person can be a very good friend and that person can help. But when it comes to like destructive emotions like hatred or anger, if we try to develop friendship with this destructive emotion, it will become worse, okay? And it will really destroy everything. So therefore, uh, but we, are we really aware of like this? Destructive emotions are within us do we really think that these are the worst enemy? Do we think? Of course, outside, if someone does something like breaks your door, of course we shout, we get angry. And do we go to the police, report, and uh, thinking that that is the worst thing, okay, very bad, very bad, okay. But <laughs> do we think, in anger inside us, do we think in the same way? I think we really stay together with that nicely. I don't know. I'm speaking from my case, okay? Yeah. So, 
So the understanding of uh, destructive emotion, how terrible it is, and how much, uh, how much harm it can do for myself and for many. Okay. Because of this, we also harm a lot. So our first motivation was that I try not to harm anybody. But as soon as anger arises, okay, and then try not to harm anybody is gone far away. And we are ever ready to harm, you see. <clears throat> uh, therefore, uh, uh, to develop uh, tolerance and uh, uh, try to, by developing tolerance, which is antidote to anger or hatred, and then this possibility of anger going down or reduced, uh, which, okay, which can stop so many mistakes we make and so many bad karma we earn that it, can, it will stop. And uh, uh, therefore, I think first important thing is we have to really think how bad, okay, how bad the anger is. If I ask question, okay, say, did you ever uh, analyze or thought seriously how bad the anger within us? Have you ever seriously thought, okay, and really tried to fight against this? Did you ever try it? Maybe some might have done like breathing in and out and then getting the mind more calm for a short period of time. But then to remove this anger and analyzing this and seeing all these, all these dreadful things, did you ever try it? Yeah. We are all grown up. We are all well educated. So now talking today about uh, tolerance, we really have to try, okay? I will also try, yeah, I will also try. Sincerely, I will try to reduce my anger. And, uh, and you all have to try. Otherwise, it's not so much meaning, you see? Better to play some tennis or watch some, go to the theater and then enjoy with your friends, you see? Yeah? <laughs> and then today also outside is very cold. Why don't you stay in your cozy room, you see? So the main purpose is whatever you listen today, I will try, okay? And try to, try to explain from the perspective of how to practice, and you also try to tag and practice. And it will make some difference, okay? And next year when, when we meet, maybe we will some, see some difference, you see? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Therefore, uh, don't, the, the main point was what? That don't develop good friendship with the destructive emotion, especially today if there's anger or hatred, okay? Don't develop friendship with them. They will destroy us. They have been destroying us, yeah? When Buddha was uh, enlightened, okay? We might have there, you see, some animal or human being, but still uh, we are not enlightened. I don't know, maybe I don't know you, but at least me, I'm not enlightened. If, if you ask me, do you have compassion? I have, uh, you know, I like compassion, but I don't know whether I have uh, really compassion or not. If someone, oh, you are teaching about the bodhicitta, and do you have bodhicitta? Yeah, I'm teaching, but... Uh, Sorry to say that uh, I really don't know whether I have bodhicitta or not. This is the reality. Yeah. Spend a many life, okay, many, many life, many, like millions of years. But what I have today, I'm teaching Shanti Deva's text, not in a very good way, just explaining a little bit. That too is not so good, okay? And uh, so we wasted a lot of time because of the destructive emotion. Yeah, because of these destructive emotions, you see. And now we are still, yeah, we are suffering. 
Yeah, I am experiencing old age, you see. Oh, very difficult. Oh, even I go to the best hospital, consult with the best doctor, okay. So old age is very difficult to if, I, if someone does a surgery, I think it will not go away. <laughs> it's so bad, you say, so bad. How can we come out of this trap? You see? The only possibility is if we reduce this to the emotions, okay? And slowly, slowly, if we work really hard, like Buddha did in six years, maybe impossible, okay? In our case, uh, we are... Uh, we, we live very happy life, uh, nice clothes, uh, nice house, and uh, very good food, and uh, uh, very warm jacket. I saw everyone you have well, your <laughs> very warm jacket. Uh, uh, <laughs> actually, having all those things are meant to solve problem. Yes, but then. Uh, this is a, just a small temporary solution, you see. It doesn't solve the problems permanently. Yeah. <clears throat> and no, one point, it, I think it's clear, isn't it? The, the destructive emotion, especially anger, is the worst enemy. Why? It can destroy, if we develop friendship with this, it will destroy myself, it will destroy many, many, okay, it will harm so many, okay, now these days so many fighting, so many fightings, okay, and uh, these are all uh, are because of the destructive emotion, mm, so therefore I will, I will, uh, in, in his text he says, <coughs> uh, of course, uh, Shadideva uh, practiced this, okay, he says that, uh, I really don't want to surrender. Uh, uh, even, okay, uh, I have to cut my, uh, behead myself. I will not surrender the, to the destructive emotions. Just, uh, beheading is just only one life, and okay, it's, it's killed. But if I surrender destructive emotion, it will destroy like many, many lifetimes, you see. Okay? <clears throat> uh, this is uh, one point. And then he also uh, explains that uh, by having anger inside you, and there's no way you can have a peace in the mind. Do you ag all agree with this? Yeah? If you have anger within yourself, there's no way, okay, you can sleep properly. And then unless you, okay, our temporary technique that breathe in and out, and then started forgetting the object of the anger, and then slowly the mind goes down, and then we can sleep. But as, as long as the anger is just there, uh, if you just sleep, try to sleep, I think it's almost impossible to sleep well, nicely. And then if you see some people, again, we see in a very negative way. So therefore, by having anger or hatred within you, there's no way, okay, someone can have peace in the mind. Yeah. And then we all are longing for peace and happiness, you see. And anger will never allow, okay, any sort of happiness, peace. Therefore, in our daily life, to reduce anger or to remove anger is very important. Yeah. And yeah, I think this is okay. Yeah. And then anger is also like uh, what you say, shameless factor. Shameless factor in a way. Even someone did a very good thing, so they benefited and educated and uh, uh, took care of everything, okay. In return, okay, we get angry, in return, we do many bad things, in return, you see. Because anger has, is 
itself is very stupid and also terrible. And it will never think that, oh, that person did many, many good things. So I, I should not get angry to them. Anger will never think in this way. Grow and destroy everything. What do you think about this? Now, you said that they were explained in this way. So do you agree with this? We see quite a lot of small children uh, kicking their mother. If the mother says, oh, OK, take care, like this, still they are very angry and kick their mother. That we see. But we are grown up. So what do you think? Yeah. <clears throat> I think uh, uh, I might have done a uh, quite bad thing to my mother uh, in, the, in uh, 1975, 76, uh, and I was very angry, and she was really worried about me and tried to tried to ask me to just come down and just don't do this, don't. And then I, I, I think I, uh, several times I, I shouted her. And uh, I didn't agree with her. And uh, actually, I think uh, uh, it was very, very necessary that I really have to listen to her, say thank you to her. But uh, because of the anger, thank you is gone very far away from me. And then instead, I'm saying that you are wrong, OK? You are wrong. Don't uh, come on my way. Just go away from my way, OK? Yeah, it was like this. I don't know whether you have uh, uh, like uh, uh, very uh, strong anger. Uh, do you have any experience? I think we, most of us has an experience, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Whether there's a good reason or not, that to, to, to generate anger almost has a no good reason, you see. Only stupid reasons. And then we get that because of this, that stupid reason, and we get angry. In general, in general, I'm saying, uh, we were born very young and very fresh. And then we grow very strong and energetic. And then grow, and then we get slowly, slowly, we get old, shrink, body, everything. Okay, shrink, shrink, shrink. Why? Even we eat the best food, healthy food, and so on, but still we get older and older. The wrinkles coming, and then their pain, this pain, and then we get old, 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 and then, yeah. So why? Because of the destructive emotion, you see. Because of the destructive emotion. And then in, in Madhya Mika, it's explained that if you really want to be born as a good, a beautiful, a handsome man in the next life, you have to develop patience or tolerance, you see. If you remain so angry, like this, and next slide, you will be very angry. No, no, just, it's not a joke, okay? It's really seriously talking. It looks like a joke, but really. And then this uh, life also, this body is coming from destructive emotions or contaminated by destructive emotions. Therefore, always have some problem, okay? Seek. Stomach problem, head problem, eye problem, nose problem, ear problem, hand problem. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, because these are, these are the production of destructive emotions. Mm -hmm. And then if we, uh, still if we develop a friendship with anger, it will be much more terrible, you see. So just think. Now, you build some sort of determination that now I will, every day I will check, okay. In the morning, I wake up, say, I will try not to get myself angry, okay, to anybody. And then stay as 
as good as possible. In the evening, just say, okay, how did I do? Before you get, before you sleep, think, how did I do? And if you fail, then you say, okay, I'm very sorry, okay, from the heart, I'm very sorry. Now, tomorrow I will do better, okay? In this way, uh, practically it really makes difference, you see. <clears throat> and so, uh, your success, okay, your success uh, in reducing uh, anger or hatred is totally depend upon how you analyze, think, and then try to bring it so close to you and then try to see the real face of the anger. Uh, and then you will, you start it, oh, I don't lie, okay, I don't, really don't lie. Then it'll be much easier to start uh, tolerance, okay? And then tolerance, if someone says something bad thing to you, because now I'm uh, talking from here. If someone says to me, you are, what bad thing I can say to me? Huh? <laughs> you, you, you are stupid or what? Terrible? Okay, yeah. You are terrible mom, okay? Okay, now I hear this. Okay. You are terrible mom, okay? And I, list, I, I heard this and say, okay, oh, he said, tell him, man. Okay, then I get started angry, okay? If I practice a little bit about look, analyzing the anger and this, then, then as soon as I hear this, oh, I have to think. I have to think. Say, oh, by getting this level as a terrible man, will I immediately change into a terrible man? Or will I remain the same as I was? If I don't change into a terrible man immediately by having this level, then why should I worry? I will be same, you see. I will be same. And if I get angry, even I was not a terrible man, then I become a terrible man, you see. Do you get point? Yeah. So if someone says terrible man, if I remain calm, I was not a terrible man, I am not a terrible man. Okay? If I get angry, I was not a terrible man, but because of this level, and if I get angry, then I become a terrible man. And then what is the use? Getting angry. What is the use? Okay. You have to think, what is the use? Okay. Is there any good point? If I get angry, is there any good point that because of anger, I really achieved or I learned compassion or is there anything? You will not see anything, okay? It always destroy, make mistakes, do unnecessary things. This, these are simple, very simple, but you have to practice. You have to think again, 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 again. Because the meditation is to make the mind familiar to that, okay? That is one of the meaning of meditation. I say mind training, but mind training means to make it very familiar. Mm. Mm. And then, of course, it is not related with this, not so much related with the sixth chapter, but uh, if someone prays you, you are such a wonderful monk. Ooh. <laughs> again, again it's, it, it is not a good uh, thing, you see. Oh, then I, I, oh, maybe I'm <laughs> a good, good monk, wonderful monk, excellent monk. Uh, it goes, again, destructive emotion is arising in me. And again, I'm dis it is destroying me in another way. Anger is a little bit easy to recognize, but this, you are very good man. Uh, okay, uh, inside me, and this is more subtle, more difficult to recognize, okay? <clears throat> is this, are you doing all these things, or? Uh, 
Is it useful or useless? <laughs> Just please think, OK. These are very simple. There's no problem to understand. But only thing is we have to try, really have to practice, you see. As Miller River says that just, just having food is not enough. Having food on the table is not enough. If I'm hungry, food is on the table, it's not enough. I have to eat. Then only my hunger will go down, you see. In the same way, but listening teaching is not enough. We have to practice. Then only it will make change, you see. <clears throat> Uh, some of my friends, okay, uh, uh, they, uh, they write mails to me and when they practice and then they say that, oh, I see, uh, when I practice, uh, I, I encounter more problems, so shall I stop or shall I continue my practice? This is true, this is true. When you practice, think. Practice, 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 and then you started recognizing so many of your mistakes. And you started getting a, like a thought that, oh, I am, am I really improving or I'm becoming worse? You will feel, but actually you are improving. Just recognizing your uh, destructive emotion itself is a big step. Don't, uh, don't lose hope. <laughs> Try to remove destructive emotion, special anger is very difficult, you see. Very difficult. Don't lose hope, okay? Go on try, go on try, go on try, okay? Small baby, they crawl, okay? And then uh, uh, at the time they start standing up, they fall down. And then they cry. Cry, cry. But then they don't stay crying on the floor, you see. Again, they try. Again, they try, stand up, fall down, cry, and then uh, try, try. And out finally, and then they go, OK? We have to try the same. Today, I might succeed, I might collapse. Means today, by, pra by practicing tolerance, I might succeed. Today, at least today, I was not angry. Okay? And then maybe today, I, again, I get angry. And then next day, again, I might get angry. But still, I have the feeling that this is very bad. I got angry. This was very good, very bad, very bad. Okay, very bad. And I try, try, try. And then finally, yes, that's a possibility of success, you see. <clears throat> La, there's a, there's a, in Chatham Mountain Day. La, ta, Yamle Chena Samgore. Yamle Machena, it's supposed to be the one. Yamle Chelta, Sigma, but they say Jamne Hakuris Risha. Tundu Tundu Rota, or a Jamne and Yaja Chena, there's similar Suga Mena, Sangua. This is special teaching for them because they are Tibetan. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know how to explain this. Hmm. <laughs> they were saying, okay, and they were saying, we are, when we are practicing, okay, uh, practicing, and then we started seeing so many shortcomings and mistakes, all right, this, okay. Uh, and then we started worrying. He says that uh, you are, to us, he is saying to us, okay, you are unnecessarily worry a lot. All these worries are useless, he says. Useless. Why you worry? And if you, if you are getting, uh, if you are trying to practice, and then Unnecessarily, you worry. And because this worry, and your practice becomes more hopeless. And this is a big point, okay? Big, big, important teaching. He says, don't worry. 
Just go on trying. Go on trying. Putting your logics, reasons, practice, stories, and then uh, reading great teachers' uh, life history. <coughs> Read the Shanti Devas text again, 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 again. And share with your good friends. Discuss. Don't worry. You say that ultimately I have to remove my anger, okay? I really wanted to remove my anger, and I have the potential, I have the opportunity. Instead of worrying, I will go on trying. He says, do it this way, don't worry. He said, not, of course, it is in this chapter, but he said not only anger, but he's saying that to solve any type of problem, you should not worry. Try to solve the problem, okay? If you succeed, it's very good. If there's perfect solution, it's very good. If there's not good, profound solution, still don't worry. Go on trying. One day you will find the uh, solution, you see. So, in short, he says that uh, if the problem has a solution, if the problem has a remedy or solution, it is useless to worry. Why? Because it has a solution. Okay? If the problem has no solution, Again, it is useless to worry because it has no solution, you see. And he is pointing to us that you are unnecessarily worried. Don't do that. This is very unhealthy. Just go and try. Just go and try. If you don't succeed today, try. If this year not successful, maybe next year, go and try. At least it will change into positive you see. Yeah. Sometimes it's difficult to, uh, intellectually we can understand. If the problem has solution, useless to worry because it has solution. Yes, 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 yes. If the problem has no solution, useless to worry because it has no solution. Yes, 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 yes. But when it comes to reality, then we worry. <laughs> Unnecessarily, you see. Unnecessarily we worry. And this worry makes us more hopeless. It's so wise, you say, so wise and so profound that also need a lot of practice. Again, 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 again. Don't take, okay, oh, I will succeed this year or within one week or within one month. Of course, it depends upon your effort, but still you have to think that I have to succeed. And his soldiers always say that never give up. If it is a good purpose, never give up. Okay? Yeah. Uh, I think this is, I explained yesterday, or, or day after yesterday, and uh, the uh, uh, nature of the mind, uh, it is like, I don't know, uh, you also have to think, okay, maybe many of you maybe uh, know much better than me, but if you see the nature of the mind, okay, uh, something a very new thing to do today, I learn today or uh, think today, is quite difficult. You see, quite difficult, difficult. But if you just go on doing, it becomes easier and easier and easier, isn't it? Yeah, I was very bad in computer. Today, uh, of course, I don't know computer, but in the in this iPhone, and then I can do quite a lot, you see. <laughs> I was very nervous, you see. I was very nervous. Uh, and then I, I, was, I was resisting, isn't it? Uh, I, now I don't want to do, I don't want to learn computer. Now I'm too old. I was born too early to learn computer. So now, now 
uh, I will do with my pen and paper and so it's, this is enough. So certain sort of period of time I didn't, I really rejected okay, to learn. But then the, uh, uh, so many things to do, okay. And then, uh, then I started uh, learning. Uh, and then my friends, they, they taught me, <laughs> they bought me and they taught me. And now last year when uh, in Nepal there was earthquake, you see. And I had a very nice uh, iPhone. Uh, it was so good, you see. It was so good. If I didn't have the iPhone, I think I, ha I would have suffered a lot. Or I have to travel and spend a lot of money and time like this. So by having iPhone, I can ask, oh, please go there and do this and spend this. And, and the, the, please send some money for this purpose. And I, I just sitting in my room, I can do a lot. Yeah, and then so I was uh, thinking this, oh, maybe this iPhone is Buddhisattva. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because at that time I, was, I became so hopeless. It was helpless, helpless. And it really helped me. And last year was uh, because of earthquake, I don't know. And uh, the, 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 I didn't face any problem with the money, you see, to help others. I didn't face any problem. Uh, really, I have enough money to help. And uh, during that, like, uh, 47 days, I couldn't use all the money. Some money there. I came back to India. And from India, I planned, okay, to use the money. You and you and you go and give rice to that village. And you and you go and then give some oil and all like this. And then... Uh, uh, just recently when I was coming to the United States, still the money is not finished. This m mobile phone helped me. Of course, uh, uh, yeah, I should not be so attached, you see. <laughs> 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 then otherwise, uh, as soon as I wake up, instead of reflecting, planning my day, so today I will not get angry. Instead of this, I start handling this. And then <laughs> this is possible, you see. Uh, <clears throat> so mind, uh, mind is, mind is so. Oh, such a such a beautiful sort of capacity. If it really try to train the mind and to to train the mind in the proper way, it can grow in such a beautiful way. It has so much potential. If you don't train, if you train in a terrible way, it can do such a terrible sort of destruction, you see. It has a potential. Therefore, according to Buddhism, we always say that uh, we have to remove destructive emotions. And then, is it possible? What do you think? Sincerely, okay. Uh, just reading some scriptures, you will say, it's possible. But practically, okay, if you answer, is it really possible to remove all the destructive emotions? Is it really possible? Do you really get, okay, yes, this is really possible, okay. Is it really possible? If, if we remove destructive emotion, if we become unconscious then, remove the desire, anger, jealousy, all this, what is left with us? So you have to search, you have to search, okay, anger has to be reduced and finally it has to be removed from the mind, okay, is it really possible? Practically speaking, without anger, still we can be alive, isn't it? Isn't it? What do you say? Now, uh, uh, at this uh, 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 time, okay, I think uh, we all are not angry to each other, isn't it? Still, we are alive. <laughs> therefore, 
this is a sign that uh, without anger we can, we can survive, we, we can live. And then that means anger can be separated from our mind. And then same, desire, everything, same. So try to see, try to see, okay. Mind is all the time with us, whether we are sleeping or not. But at a time, the anger becomes like imprinted, in the form of imprinted, and it's not in a activated mind, you see. But still we survive, and then without anger, we survive better, you see. Therefore, in the, in the minds and all these destructive emotions are not in the natures of the mind, okay? The nature of the mind, main mind itself is very clean. And these are the contaminations of the pollutions, okay? So these are not in the nature. If it is in the nature, then if we have to remove this, then mind also has to be removed. Uh, this also, I think it is very important to, to have the understanding, okay? <clears throat> mm -hmm. And then, <clears throat> we all like, now I, 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 I can say this, okay? We all believe in Buddha. And we try to do exactly what Buddha taught us, okay? And uh, Buddha developed his compassion, loving kindness, bodhicitta, to every sentient being. Okay? The most terrible person, Buddha, has a love, compassion towards that person, you see. So he will not exclude anybody, okay? He may have more compassion towards those people who are really terrible, you see, because they are, uh, uh, they will suffer more. You see? Therefore, now, Shanti, they also put a, a reasons. We should not get angry to anybody. Why? Because we believe in Buddha and we consider him as our highest spiritual teacher. And we try, okay, try to follow his footsteps. We try to follow his advice. And his mind is full of loving kindness and compassion. And he, he has huge, like, mountains of love towards every sentient being. And that person terrible, we think is terrible. If we develop anger, then we are going against the Buddha's, uh, Buddha's way of uh, thinking every sentient being. Do you get the point? Yeah? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to do it. See? Because this person also is in the, uh, uh, under the compassion and the bodhicitta and uh, he was showered, uh, uh, and then Buddha really sincerely wanted to help them. So, and then if he is thinking in this way, as a follower of Buddha's teaching, then no, I don't want to get angry with, I don't want to harm that person. If I harm, and then uh, I'm going against Buddha's wish. Okay, so uh, to to be able to fulfill the Buddha's wish, I really wanted to develop, instead of getting angry, I will develop compassion and tolerance. Yeah? And, uh, sometimes, okay, we have to be uh, careful, you see. We have to be really careful. I have a story. <laughs> in, in, in some place, okay, on this planet. <laughs> His solidness went. Sure. What? Well, sure. I'm <laughs> yeah, I think I'm sure, yes. <laughs> I, will, I will whisper. <laughs> when we reach to home, I will whisper you. <laughs> and, uh, and, and there were many, many audience, okay? And uh, one of my friends, he was not that sort of good, you see. Uh, he was like me. <laughs> and then, and then 
he saw it and came and he said, and, and then he saw it asked, oh, you are from the dialectic school, isn't it? Said, yes, yes, yes. And then, come, come, come. And then he pat on him and he went a few steps with him, okay? Next day, that person uh, got many followers, hundreds. They believed that, oh, I think that must be a very good teacher, you see? Actually, not that good. <laughs> of course, if Buddha loves every sentient being, uh, that doesn't mean that every sentient being is perfect. Okay? Yeah, you have to love, but you have to love in a wise way, in a careful way, so that you will be not eaten. <clears throat> If we stay with a bad friend, in the beginning we can be more sort of like keep little distance and then, and yes, hello, hello, and what do you say, hi, bye, okay. And slowly goes closer, closer, and then if he drunk, drinks, and then start, oh, yeah, one sip, okay. And if smoke, okay, please. Oh, this is very nice. And then a little bit drunk, oh yeah, this is really, oh, it takes another sort of world. So very good, and so, so we get the we get the uh, uh, those uh, bad things you see. So we have to be very wise, and uh, that doesn't mean that uh, we have to develop hatred. Okay, instead, if someone has some defect or mistake, then we have to really sincerely help them to reduce their uh, problem. You see, yeah. <clears throat> so now that the point I went a little bit out. The point is that uh, Buddha. Uh, love, okay, in, in, in his eye, there's no difference, okay? Everybody is equal to Buddha's eye, and he really wanted to help out of his compassion, out of his bodhicitta, okay? And uh, uh, so therefore, we should not hate any sentient being. If we hate or angry with that, and we are going against Buddha's wish. By thinking this also, I think it helps us to reduce anger. Yeah? Do you want to take a break? Or? I think so. Uh, yeah, I think we take a break, yes. I thought of finishing this tolerance now. Still, yeah. Mm, yeah, break. And then, <laughs> break. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes. Mm. Uh, I think we start, okay? Yeah. Okay, uh, hmm. uh, try to explain in short, okay, now we are running out of time, uh, still we didn't touch the chapter of joyful effort and uh, uh, I don't know, short, uh, about three different types of Tolerance, okay. Uh, there's a, another funny thing that I think I have to escape. Uh, three different types of uh, tolerance. Uh, uh, so whenever uh, there is a, a bad thing happening towards you or hearing some bad thing about you or then uh, you just always have to uh, think that uh, 
reacting uh, against this is useless. Okay, you just uh, let it go. Okay, let it go. Uh, don't take it seriously, and just if you hear, okay, just just let it go. Don't take in and try to uh, uh, is it brew brew? Yeah, brew. <laughs> so uh, don't take. Uh, uh, try to. I'm not saying ignore. Okay, ignore is not very good words. Uh, just. Try to see. Oh yeah, okay. This is yeah, there's this is coming to towards me, which is not good, very bad. But then, no, I will not pay any attention to this. Just okay, goodbye. Okay, and then uh, the way you are doing this is uh, uh, practicing tolerance. Okay, uh, one type. Another type is. Uh, um, for the sake of uh, every sentient being, or for the sake of some uh, group of poor, poor sentient being, or suffering sentient being, if you have to struggle a lot, and then you also have to um, have a tolerance, okay, patience. Don't get easily tired. Uh, don't get easily frustrated. Or sometimes uh, even get Angry, don't do that, okay? You have to work really hard for the sake of any group of uh, 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 suff uh, uh, suffered uh, being. You try, okay? Even if it's really very hard, you just tolerate this and do it. And it will develop a lot of, a lot of tolerance within you, you see? Sometimes very cold, sometimes we don't get food, sometimes we don't get a pro proper sort of clean water like this. We encounter quite a lot of problems, especially if you go to the very remote villages, you see. It's really hard. Just try. Do it nicely because it benefits some, some people there, you see. Dunga Tanglin, you about Dunga Tanglin means for the sake of for the benefit of any type of sentient being or all sentient being, I am really happily uh, 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 enter into a problem and to try to solve the problem, okay? Happily. And that is the tolerance. And then the uh, Buddha's Dharma is very, very good. And again, you have to develop tolerance, you see, uh, to do meditation. Uh, in the beginning, if you can do meditation about 10 minutes, and start with some pain and like this, and then slowly, slowly prolong, okay, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, two hour, three hour, is it too much? <laughs> so there are quite a lot of struggle, you see, quite a lot of challenges. If you try to challenge all those things, means you are developing tolerance, you see. Because to tolerate this is so meaningful. So meaningful, you see. And try to fight against destructive emotions, so meaningful. Not easy, okay? It's not easy. But it is so meaningful. Therefore, uh, you have to have tolerance, okay? Uh, okay, then now we go to the next, and then, and I, I thought I thought of telling some funny funny stories. Now I think we don't have time, so we go to the next chapter, which is uh, what uh, joyful effort. Okay, yeah. And then uh, I I have to invite some questions from you, if possible, about thirty minutes, if not. At least 20 minutes, we have to have some question answers. Uh, I also have to learn from you. So if I invite questions, then I learn from you. Yeah. Whatever I know a little bit, then I omit it, OK, omit it. And then I need as some profit, you see. <laughs> OK. Uh, joyful effort. <clears throat> 
the connection, okay, the connection between uh, tolerance and joyful effort, uh, the Shantideva explains in a very, very clear way that more you have tolerance and you will be able to generate joyful effort more profoundly, you see. And, uh, and then he defines joyful effort, okay. Tsongkhan uh, Gelatroba Wu. Tsongkhan Tsundu Kang means what is joyful effort. Gelatroba Wu means uh, that the feeling of happy, okay, happiness uh, to perform some merits or some good things, okay. If, if we are really happy to perform some good things, okay, merit things, Virtuous action. If you are very, very happy, and that is a sign that uh, you have a joyful effort, you see. But uh, in our case, what do you think? To do good thing, is it really, really good? Oh, so, I'm so happy that I'm, and I'm so happy, or what? There's old story. No, no, don't story. Uh, we, <laughs> So I will not tell the story. <clears throat> uh, now I'm taking one point, which, of course, all the points are very important. That I can't teach all the points. But I'm taking some of the points which, uh, which is more familiar to me, which I can explain a little bit better. Some points are so difficult, you see. So, so I have to just uh, let the points stay in the uh, text, okay? Uh, so one point, he says, mm, oh, he to love them in. That, mm, Robert Chiruja, me to love them in, Dunge Chuo Chele, Trudy Chele, Nyega, Momba Chuzu, Nimalo, me to love them in, Dunge Chuo Chele, Trudy that is uh, uh, like our uh, precious rebirth is like a very profound uh, ship or boat which if we have to cross a river or ocean. See? So now this is one of the best vehicle or ship or boat to cross the ocean of samsara or ocean of a problem. And uh, so we have this, okay, we have now, this is already we have achieved. My uh, uh, ship is quite old. <laughs> Still it is usable, okay. Me, uh, uh, me, by having this uh, precious human body or precious human life, and we have every opportunity to cross the ocean of samsara. Okay. Means now, if I think in, in my uh, inside, okay, how, how I am, okay, as a monk, okay, how I'm performing, and if, it, if I really perform nicely, then I will be born another sort of precious human life, you see. But that is quite difficult. Therefore, whatever we have now in the hand, we have to use this in a maximum way to cross the samsara, you see. <laughs> Therefore, by having this, you feel, oh, I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky that I have this precious human life, which has so much opportunity, so much pre precious sort of chance. Okay? And then there are some friends who are saying that, oh, we are in the West, so we have not so many teachers available, and then and so we don't get teachings very often, so oh, our life is not so precious as you have. That is not, no, this is wrong, okay? This is totally wrong, okay? <laughs> they complain to me, they complain. And uh, so, mm, of course, uh, Maybe less chance or, yes, but uh, the, the potential is already there, you see, potential is already there. So therefore, uh, here he says, uh, joyful effort, okay, 
wow, okay, I have this precious human life. I'm so fortunate, so lucky. I can read really excellent books. I can receive teachings. I can do meditation. I can practice. And I can meet so many people with a lot of uh, good attitude and everything. So I'm so lucky. And this gives us joy, okay, joy to do good things. Now, uh, if you say, if you ignore your, body, your uh, precious human life, you might complain, you see, you might complain. Uh, there are so many sad things, you see. Uh, of course, uh, I know, and uh, some I succeeded, some, yes, I failed, that there are many, some people who are uh, just plan to commit suicide. This is really lack of, lack of the understanding of precious human life. If they have a very good understanding of precious human life, and how many good things I can do in this life, I can do a lot, you see, I can do a lot. And then, uh, how can I commit suicide, you see? Uh. So this is, uh, of course, in Buddhism, we teach a lot about precious human life. A lot, you see. I think one of the teachers, uh, he taught something like, how many, 15 days or something like, just related with the precious human life. And that is all. With that sort of uh, teaching, he covered all aspects of Buddhist teaching, you see. Yeah, so please, just think, okay, don't underestimate your rebirth, okay? Your rebirth is very precious. Very, you have the really good skill of communicating, thinking, and then doing, practicing. You have every opportunity. And by thinking this, and you get inner inspiration, okay, inspiration, Oh, I want you to do good things, okay? And that is a joyful effort. You see? So, Gangela, if you have a strong wish to do good things, that is joyful effort, you see? And uh, if you really try, within this lifetime, you can be enlightened, you see? Or you will achieve Buddha Chitta. <gasps> Wow, this is so good, you see. If not, at least like compassion or renunciation. Even you have profound uh, like, uh, faith in Buddha, that's enough. Unshakable faith to Buddha or Dharma Sangha. Very good, excellent achievement, you see. Therefore, uh, uh, don't forget. Don't forget, okay? Don't forget and don't misuse your uh, precious human life. Don't waste your precious human life. Try, okay? Try to use maximum, okay? And uh, in the beginning, you might get a little tired, little tired, but slowly, slowly, as I told you, the mind is, if we train more, it will gain more energy. And if, if we train in a positive way, okay, if we use in a negative way, of course it will eat a lot of energy. But if we train our mind in a positive way, like compassion and bodhicitta, and then it can grow, okay. So the main point of uh, joyful effort is to generate, okay, mind which is so, feels so happy to do good things. It does, we will succeed even small good things. Okay. Oh, this is so good, okay? Now I want you to do more. I want you to do more. I want you to do more. And for the sake of every sentient being, okay? Uh, that is a very, very big. For the sake of even one single person, okay, to be free from samsara, to, to uh, 
to let that person be achieve enlightenment. For the sake of this, if I have to suffer in the worst hell for eons, I'm ready to do that. Of course, this is almost like unbelievable. But because of joyful effort, it is possible, you see. That is such a big commitment, such a big strength. Simji Rere Rere is each and every, for the sake of each and every sentient being. Men are what you may in the fire, if I have to re remain in the fire for eons, I'm ready to do this. Because this is so meaningful for the sake of other sentient being. I really want you to suffer, okay? Unnecessarily, I don't want to suffer. If there's no purpose, yes, why should I suffer, you see? If, if I go outside, it's cold. No, unnecessarily, I don't want to suffer. I wear a nice jacket. If it's for the good purpose, yes. You have to stand there about one hour, yes. I, 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 I'm, I'm okay, I'm, I'm ready to do this. If it's a good purpose, you see. And this trains your mind a lot. Joyful effort. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and then you and Malu Tindu Jero Sonam Lotus on the English Tindu Kandaba. You and Malu Tindu Jero Hing means all the good qualities, okay, uh, by practicing uh, Buddha's teaching, either it's related to compassion, bodhicitta, or uh, tolerance, or joyful effort, or wisdom, or single pointed meditation, whatever, okay, good quality. We have to achieve whether this will be successful or not, he says. It's totally dependent upon your joyful effort, practice of joyful effort. If your joyful effort, practice of your joyful effort is very good, all these good qualities are in your hand. If your joyful effort is hopeless, then I think for the time being you have to say goodbye to the good qualities, you see, good achievements. So, yonde malu, okay, malu means all. Yonde is good quality. All the good quality, he says. It totally depends upon the practice of joyful effort, okay? Where there's a very profound practice of joyful effort, you will be able to grow or generate all these good qualities. If you practice of joyful effort is hopeless, there's no way. There's no other way. Hmm. <clears throat> so now I think only just left and then two, three different types of joyful uh, the antidote joyful effort is the antidote of the what? And joyful is the antidote of what? Laziness. laziness, yes, laziness. And what is laziness? Three, three huh? Three yes, three times of laziness. But uh, <laughs> do we know really laziness? Most of the people say we work very hard. Okay. And uh, laziness is almost, uh, laziness, what we are talking, is almost not in our picture. Yeah. Even we say laziness, and that is like uh, in our profession, okay? Mm, then there's uh, some type of laziness, but that is not in the category of uh, laziness which is, has to be removed by the uh, joyful effort, you see. Uh, <clears throat> in Tibet, we say lelo, okay? Laziness, or this is. We call it laziness, lelo, okay? And there are chawang and shinji lelo. Means we are, uh, we are lazy because we are attached to useless things. Yeah, yeah. We forget all the important things. We, we are just so attached to so many unnecessary or useless things, you see. Chawang and shinji. Chawa is action. Nyan is useless. Shen is attached. Chawang Nyan Shinji Lelo.
Again, you practice, okay, just see. Just see, okay, how I waste my life. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when I was looking, you see, I put my bag here, okay? I put my bag, in the beginning, I, my bag was here, okay? Then I thought, oh, now I think I should not put here, so I should put here. <laughs> in this way, I, I waste my time. <laughs> okay, this is one simple example as now happened today, just here, okay? Whether it's here or here. What? What is the difference, you see? Bag is bag, it is here. Again, it's bag, it's here, it's bag. If I pick from here or here, it doesn't matter so much. Uh, yeah, and then after some time, then I might put here, okay? Okay? <laughs> then after some time, yeah, I, and again, I might put here, you see? So in this way, okay, <laughs> we waste our time. It's all useless. Yeah. <clears throat> This one, and uh, <clears throat> uh, is uh, 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 poor me. Okay, we say, Poor me, I can't achieve because I'm really poor, I don't know anything. So then started uh, taking yourself away from the good practice. Okay? And that is, ji look means, ji is do. Look is, look, how to say? Look is become loose. <laughs> look. Ji look. I wanted to do, okay, I wanted to do, all of a sudden I collapse, you see, <laughs> because of the laziness. Yeah. <clears throat> that happens quite often. Yeah, quite often. And then this is only, mainly it's coming out of your underestimation of yourself. Uh, I can't do. And many of the, my Western friends, they say, I don't speak Tibetan, so I, I think there's not much chance to understand Buddhism. <laughs> I think this is, a, I hear this quite a lot, you see. Oh, no. yes, I read English, but it is completely different from Tibetan language. So now I don't have much hope to achieve Buddhahood because I don't know Tibetan. <laughs> yeah, underestimating, you see. Yeah. Whether it's in English or in Tibetan, if you practice, you will get the result, you see. Yeah. Maybe it's a little difference in the meanings and like that you can explain, explain, discuss, discuss, and it will be clear and clear, you see. Just blaming, okay, on myself as a, uh, so I can't, uh, this is a, uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm just trying to tell uh, from our daily experience, okay, and then you just connect, and then as soon as it arises, okay, then you have to use our, uh, our talk or teaching. That is the way to practice, okay? Today you understand, and then tomorrow, and then everything is happening, all these things, but uh, no connection, then uh, today's teaching becomes useless. Uh, everything has to be brought into practice, because the main purpose is just to practice, to make difference in your mind. Okay? Physically, we are not giving any exercise, you see. You have to sit about two hours. Very bad. <laughs> but, yeah. And then if you don't gain the mental exercise, then it's big loss, you see. Neither physical exercise, nor mental exercise. Yeah. The, the mental exercise. This is the most important thing, you see. This body, one day it has to be thrown, you see, cremated, burned. 
a small handful of ashes, okay? Uh, that's all. But uh, to exercise or do my practice in mind, we, this will follow with us in the next life, next, next, next life. So therefore, uh, in Buddhism, we pay a lot, a lot of attention for the training of the mind, okay? Not so much of the training of the physical body. Give training to the mind. <coughs> Uh, one of my teacher, uh, when I received uh, some teaching at the, when he was 81, and he was not feeling well, he was not feeling well. I just said, okay, I wanted to receive this teaching just from you, okay? He said, oh, you, there's a, Gen Yishi Tundu is one of my teachers. You will have Gen Yishi Tundu, he's a very good teacher. Why don't you receive from him? I'm not feeling well. Okay? And, and, and I said, no, 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 I really wanted to receive from you. Okay, he said, Oh, okay, okay. Now my body is like garbage, he says. My body is like garbage. And I said, okay, your body is garbage, it, it doesn't matter. To me, your body is not garbage, you see. Your garbage is not body, your body is so precious, you see. And we were talking, okay, we were talking. Uh, and and he, 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 he smiled, he smiled. And he didn't give any answer because I'm like debating to him. He didn't give any answer. He just smiled and said, okay, you come uh, tomorrow 9 o'clock. Because his times are all framed. 5 o'clock, wake up, go to the Buddha, Buddha Guide temple till 8 o'clock. Come back, take breakfast. 9 o'clock, he read all the scriptures. 81 years old, he's reading, okay, reading all the scriptures and the close and rape and then put it there, another one, and then, like, almost like, it's just, uh, we are very slow. <laughs> and he always said that, oh, now, now, my, uh, I have not much time. Of course, he's 81. One day he asked me to, uh, wrap all his scriptures properly and make some index, uh, okay? And then ask, him, ask me to uh, put it in a very nice way on the table like this. I was very stupid. He was planning to pass away. I didn't know. He said, now I can't read. Now I can't read in this life. I can't read. If you want to take some uh, 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 scriptures, you just take. And I ask, uh, if you give me, okay, and then I will be very happy. And he gave me put this, this text, and uh, Lamb to the Path of Enlightenment, two texts he gave me. Uh, and then, if, if you need more, you, you just take, okay? And that's, that's, that summer he came from Budgaya to Dharamsala, and then after a few days he passed away. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, at the age of 81, when he was giving teaching, it started exactly at one, 9 o'clock. He just finished teaching exactly 12 o'clock. Because he takes lunch exactly 12, 12 o'clock. Okay? And then he gives instruction go there, take a noodle, tukpa, you know, tukpa, and then go to this place where there's a really good explanation about this text, go there, read. To me, he made everything, you see. And uh, that was so, so important for me. So important, you see. It's in every hour he count. Of course, his time, he never waste. And also, I'm uh, putting in such a way that uh, I will not waste any time. The nearest restaurant, the simplest food, and on the way to the library, Calculated everything because he really know, okay, what is joyful effort, you see? What is joyful effort, okay? There's no way, okay, that doing good things, we should not waste our time. We should not uh, make ourselves buried under so many unnecessary things, you see? <clears throat> of course, his teachings are very profound, but Giving all these instructions was so precious for me. Of course, still I failed to do, but I am trying. 
when I saw his, uh, uh, what is the holy body, <laughs> uh, when he passed away, and just sitting like this, you see, just almost like he's alive. He was alive. The face shining, almost same, you see, same. Almost like I like to talk with him. I think after one or two hours, we, we went there. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so, uh, uh, the joyful effort is uh, uh, mainly uh, not to oh, waste your time, your energy, your precious human life, and then your, the most important thing, your huge, uh, uh, having a huge potential uh, in your mind, okay? Uh, so, uh, try to do uh, uh, good things with joy, okay? Try to do good things with joy, okay? Not like uh, um, my teacher asked me, I have to do, actually I don't like, uh, but then I have to do because my spiritual teacher asked me to do. Uh, not like this, okay? Yeah. Okay? Maybe we have to stop 10 minutes. <coughs> of course, we can be late. One minute, okay. <laughs> Otherwise, we have other important things to do. <laughs> okay, some questions. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hello. Um, maybe it's my question is um, naive, but I feel this way. So, uh, I'm a mother. Yes. And. I'd like to ask if there is any special training for women because we have the hormones and we give birth huh? and we have the the whole hormones oh, hormone, and yes. we give birth yeah. and sometimes we feel very angry yeah. so and and another thing is I feel worry almost all the time because of my son and I feel it's very difficult not to be attached and not to worry. So mm -hmm. um, that's my. Mm, this is a question. Yeah, it's uh -huh. a kind of a question. It's, it's I think more most a... of these are covered by us, isn't it? And uh, but then uh, uh, give birth to a son. Very good. <laughs> it's very good. Okay, and then bring him up a good human being. And uh, of course it's difficult. Uh, of course I, uh, I, I don't have any biological children, but I brought up many children. And uh, you have how many? One. One, okay, one is uh, not big number. <laughs> 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 so, of course, one can be very difficult. Yes, I know. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, if it is a difficult son, you have to be. You have to work very hard to make him a good human being. You see, if you are able to produce a one good human being, can change a lot. You see, in our monastery. We admitted many young monks, okay? Some remain, and many, they don't stay in the monastery. They go away. But my hope is that among these, like, 30 monks, if I produce one very good spiritual teacher, I will be totally satisfied with this. Because one can lead hundreds of thousands of... Dalai Lama is one. So try. One... I think you try, make him very good, okay? With good intention, good motivation, okay? You might encounter, but don't be so, uh, don't say easily all the time, yes, okay? Don't say easily, say yes, 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 okay? Just analyze where to, when to say yes, and when to say no, and then stay there, but your motivation or intention has to be like, I really want to do, produce a good son who will lead 
many people into good path. Then bringing up a child is a good purpose, you see. It's a meaningful. And uh, if you started uh, feeling very heavy by having one son, oh, I worry about him. And so then it becomes a burden and it will not help. It will not help, as I explained in Shanditeva's text. <laughs> if there's a solution to make your son good, useless to worry. Because there's a way to make your son very good. Okay? If there's no way, still it's useless to worry. <laughs> so, of course, it is not easy. Not easy as a mother, it's not easy. But you have to practice. Okay? And don't worry much. Yeah. Instead of using your worry, I think you use your intelligence or uh, what? Diligence? Diligence. Yeah. Intelligence and diligence. And, uh, and then also, uh, what you think is uh, not so good is not necessarily to be good. If you think it's very bad, it's not necessarily to be bad, you see. For that also you have to think. Sometimes we are so overprotecting, overprotecting, and then worry. Uh, I think they need also some freedom. Yeah. Uh, at present, I'm bringing up two, uh, two children. Almost I'm bringing up, okay? <laughs> Not 100%. And then they are, all, they are very free, you see? And I love uh, children who are really free and then uh, restless and... Uh, Yes, if they break glass, it's okay. But I have to make them sure that they will not break again, you see. <laughs> so, <coughs> be relaxed, okay? Be relaxed, okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah? I think it's enough. Yeah. Yes? First, I want to thank you so much. I want to, first, I want to, to thank you for your teaching. I have a question. Um, I've been angry in the past, and many people I can make amends to. Is it important to make amends personally with people that I've hurt? Do I have to do it personally? Because I think that causes more suffering sometimes. <clears throat> uh, if you are able to do it personally, okay, uh, say sorry or uh, uh, some sort of like uh, reconciliation, of course it's very good. Okay, this is uh, this is more uh, uh, living, and uh, you can do uh, uh, without meeting them. Also, uh, try to uh, confess or purify. Uh, but uh, whether you meet that person personally or, but I think the sincerity is playing a very important role. You have to be really sincere. If you say, I, I was, I'm very sorry, even you say this in your room, just by yourself alone, if you're sincere, it changes your mind. Next time, if you meet some sort of person or same person, you will, you, you will have a different attitude, okay? And then if you meet, this is very good. Because you need to have some sort of courage. Yeah. Uh, the, to meet someone who has some sort of friction or a negative feeling towards that person, to meet them and say nicely, uh, sorry, or this is quite difficult, you see. So meeting personally is very good. Yeah. And uh, then you have, to, oh, you have to plan nicely. Plan. Plan means, okay, when I have to meet, what words first I will say? You have to think of the person. And if you say some words which is not fit for that person, then even you have good intention, it might damage, you see. So you have to think very carefully, thoroughly, and what to say, the words, and how to conclude. Everything you have to plan. 
And then you have to make commitment, say that if that person react me badly, I will not lose my temper. I will try, okay? I will really try not to lose my temper. Yeah, so I think this, uh, of course, the endless we can explain. Because uh, now we say one person, and what is this one person? This is also one person, this is another person, this is one person. So now we are just, in general, we are saying, okay? Otherwise, every individual has its own mentality and uh, different uh, views and, uh, yeah. So I think, is it enough? Yeah? Did I answer or? Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> yes? Thank you also for your teaching. Um, could you say a few more words about how to make someone a friend who has done something wrong, or stolen your apartment, or how, how, how to walk on the path of friendship? I know you have mentioned analyzing your anger and so on. I just wonder if there's anything additional you could say. That seems like a big challenge. <clears throat> uh, to explain, okay, or to say something is not that difficult. But then to apply practically, it will be more challenging. Uh, so, um, if someone has uh, stolen your apartment, okay, Oh, this is a big thing. <laughs> uh, before you approach with that person, okay, who seems to be your friend, isn't it? Or this is just a, a, a created story. Is it created story or it really happened? I think there are more, three or more, three or four more answers, you see. One, I think you will not agree with me. <laughs> and then the, the, the best answer I can give is uh, uh, I always say, uh, instead of like uh, feeling very negative and having some frictions and uh, doubts and like this, I think I will say, and try to meet and have a dialogue, okay? Which is difficult, isn't it? That is the, I think that is the best solution. And then this is one answer, okay? Uh, and then first meeting may not be so successful, but at least if you really want to say something, you really want to say, you put it in your words and you are very calm and tell them, okay? very accurately, you tell them, okay, you stand on this, okay? You may, not, you may not get a positive answer, but still it will make them to think, you see? And then you stay there, don't change your stand, you see? And, uh, and then discuss. You, first time you might not get a positive answer, you might get a very negative answer also. But when you thought thoroughly and then with the logic, then you have to stay. Even if they don't agree, it's okay. Just say, and you have to repeat again. Till you succeed, never give up. Yes. And this is very difficult, you see. This is difficult. For you it's difficult, for them also difficult, you see. If you shout, it will not work. Then they will play. Okay. Then they will think that, uh, they, Oh, that uh, that person has not much weight, okay? Just say something and they get angry. And then when you get angry, they say, now I'm not going to stay here. 
Then everything is finished. Therefore, your mind has to be very stable and have a dialogue and think what you wanted to say, point wise, one, two, three. You write everything nicely and then tell them and stay. Okay, there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is a uh, uh, little bit like politics. Uh, and then one answer is uh, difficult. Uh, of course, I will say that you don't practice this. But uh, uh, what do you say? Mm, give the victory. <laughs> Take the loss, OK? Yeah, and then give victory to them. Which is, of course, uh, uh, maybe it is not correct. We, maybe it is not a good uh, situation to apply. Therefore, I'm not going to encourage you to do this, OK? Yeah, don't do this. It is a good, but I really don't know the situation, you see. Therefore, I will not uh, say this is a good answer. Yeah. Mm. If someone is doing wrong, uh, and then you should not do any wrong, OK? Yeah, OK. You stand on the truth. Say the truth. And be strong, be tough. Don't give up, OK? And that is the only uh, solution I can suggest. Yeah. They are doing bad things. You started adding something. Uh, uh, and if they do one mistake, you add three mistakes, then it will not work. Then it will come back again to you. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it, it is difficult, yes. Yeah. Always, okay, always, if, there's, if the, the result is very good, we have to face difficult situations. Yeah. The easy solution will not give such a good result, yeah. That is what I believe, you see, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, welcome. Uh, yeah, no, those was. Who? Yeah. No? Okay. Um, what, ad what advice do you have for non Buddhists and people who do not uh, really believe that human life is precious to convince that human life is really precious? What advice do you have? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, to uh, to educate or uh, to make uh, understand that uh, uh, the human life is very precious. Okay, I think it is. Uh, uh, we really have to pr uh, explain in a practical level, not as a Buddhist, uh, uh, but just just seeing the reality. How much potential we have by born as a human being. If we compare with the, uh, I don't know, buffalo, or compare with the buffalo, uh, if the buffalo is sick, uh, they might show sign that they are feeling, not feeling well, but they can't say that I, am, I have a headache, or I have back pain, or stomach problem, they can't say. I think their language only they have is Bon, OK. <laughs> so from that perspective, uh, at least at, at born as a human being, uh, whether believer or Buddhism or not, I can say that I have a stomach problem. I have pain here, OK? I have pain here, knee pain. All I, but that is also very good uh, sort of uh, uh, opportunity. And then also, uh, uh, we can also uh, read and uh, listen teaching, uh, whether it's Buddhist teaching or not, but just try to see that by born as human being, we can do many good things, you see, that you don't have to be Buddhist, you see. Uh, 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 for example, like, uh, say, Mother Teresa, OK? Of course, she was not Buddhist. 
In reality, I don't know. <laughs> really? No. So I say I'm Buddhist, but in reality, I don't know. Maybe I'm not a Buddhist, you see? It's possible. And the, 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 the main thing is the reality, okay? How my life, how my mind is. She is such a wonderful, okay? Once I had a photo of her hand, you see? Yeah. I kept that as a treasure, you see? This wrinkled. Physically, okay, we can say it's a, a, not so beautiful hand, but this wrinkled hand served like millions of slum children, you see. And so uh, from there, oh, so much potential. And we can also use our hand in this way and also make a lot of uh, sense and a lot of meaning. And the potential is with us. Everybody has a potential. So just without uh, wearing Buddhist glass, come out and see how much potential we have is much more profound, uh, I think, to me. Uh, of course, if someone has a really good understanding of Buddhism, maybe okay. But then otherwise, uh, if we are biased being Buddhist, okay, and then think that Whatever Buddhists do, good. And that is also not necessarily to be good, you see. Buddhist teachings are good. But then I always say that we also use, uh, we depends also use Buddhism. In some cases, we didn't use wisely. We also, in some cases, okay, uh, like, of course, it is individual, but uh, some people, they misuse Buddhism. And then the common people think that this is just exactly according to Buddhism. Uh, therefore, I think we better to... Uh, when, when I was explaining about how to help the drug addict for them, from the Buddhist perspective, okay? And, uh, uh, one of my friend is uh, uh, helping. Uh, drug addict. He's visiting about 15 drug rehab centers in Nepal and meeting individually, giving uh, guidance from the Buddhist uh, uh, teaching. And I explained this to His Holiness. And His Holiness says, oh, this is very important, very, very important. But then don't use the term Buddhism. He said, don't use the term Buddhism. Just this has to be... Uh, uh, what? Uh, non sectarian? Non yeah, it's a, it has to be non sectarian. And this will cover more. This will benefit more, you see. Yeah, a reality. Okay, a reality. Uh, and then, and, the, he, uh, and I said, I told him that I think the uh, Kishila who's working, uh, uh, he has, I think he has uh, this idea. Uh, from your holiness. So, but still tell him, don't use Buddhist, Buddhist. If this is coming from Buddhist and Buddhist, don't tell. Just use compassion, which is international, okay, which is uh, 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 for everybody, every human being. Longing for happiness, don't want to suffer. Love, it is meant for every sentient being who wanted to be happy, you see. And so try not to use Buddhist, Buddhism, 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 Buddhism. So now we are on the process. You see, we have been using Buddhism quite a lot, you see. And he is wearing Buddhist uh, monk's dress. And then I also introduce him when I uh, ask him to come from the big monastery to help me. And yeah, I personally told him that uh, in Buddhism we have all this, this teaching, this teaching, this teaching can be very, very useful to make them free from the drugs, free from alcohol. And we discussed certain sort of text. Of course, we just used, okay, without you know, looking to this side and that side. And now we are aware that, uh, of course, they are using the Buddhist text, teaching, but we don't give level as Buddhist, Buddhism, so, yeah. Uh, I went a little bit too far, sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
So now I think we have the stove, okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>